Hey guys, it's Ash, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys a one-hour live session of how I farm Dark Elixir without my heroes. Uh, since a lot of you guys have been requesting to see how I farm Dark Elixir without heroes in the current meta after the recent update, since I know a lot of you guys have been struggling to uh, farm. So first, I want to show you guys the current loot index on, on uh, Clash of Clans Forecaster.com. Uh, it states that the current loot index is 2.9 out of 10, which is really bad and that in the upcoming hour as we farm, it's going to get even worse. Uh, but in my opinion, this doesn't really matter because I usually always tend to farm uh, around 10,000 Dark Elixir per hour with this method and without heroes. And I believe that this session is going to be no different from uh, any of my regular sessions. So I'm going uh, so to be boosting two barracks and the army composition that I'm going to be using is BAM. So let's get started. I already started the boost. So we're, we're kind of one minute late, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the reason I'm boosting is because otherwise you're going to experience a lot of pauses in the video and I don't want to edit this video. I want this to be a true one hour live session experience to show you guys a real sense of how I farm Dark Elixir and uh, what goes in my head and uh, everything. So hopefully this is a good one hour session and that you guys learn a lot. All right. Um, so, so far haven't really found anything. Uh, my usual target is at least, with this method, at least 1,000 Dark Elixir from the Dark Elixir storage. If it's easy to get, if it's hard to get, uh, at least 1,500. Um, if it requires me to use at least one spell, at least 1,500 Dark Elixir. Otherwise, I'm looking mainly for drills on the outside or easy to get Dark Elixir storages. And let's see. Here, 1700, but it's inside the Dark Elixir storage. As you can see on the top, the Dark Elixir drill, it's empty, so uh, there's nothing inside the drill. So I'm gonna be avoiding those types of bases. Here, there was only 400, not even worth it. So the drills that I'm looking for are at least level three drills that are full, or uh, or a Dark Elixir storage that has at least, like, at least 800 Dark Elixir, and if it's semi-exposed, then I'll go for it. So here are 672, but uh, again, those drills are around 40 to 60% full, so they're not even worth it. Okay, let's see. All right, here are 2,000 Dark Elixir, but it's really hard to get and separated in uh, all the drills and storage, so this is, not, this is not a base that's worth attacking with this composition either because you're gonna have to deal a lot of damage. You have to consider that as a storage raid if the drills are inside the base. You gotta think of it as a storage because uh, it's, it's, it's just as difficult to get, especially if the drills are really separated inside a base and uh, and the, and the Dark Elixir is inside the drills, then that's a very tough base to get. For example, if there was a level six drill, level six drill and... Uh, okay, here we found 823 Dark Elixir. We're gonna go for that really quick. So as I was saying, uh, if, if it was a level six drill and if it was inside the base and uh, it was separated, then I probably would not go for that just because of how difficult it is. Uh, I probably would only be able to get one of them at best and uh, usually it would not be worth it because um, it may be around 80 to 100 percent full it may not even be 100 percent full may basically so those types of bases are not worth attacking here we got 361 dark elixir left but that's inside the storage and obviously uh, town halls now occupy one fourth dark elixir so here uh, there's around let's see one fifth of 360 that's around 70 dark elixir so we're gonna see around 72 dark elixir from uh, this town hall so 361 minus 71 72 is uh 289 289 as you can see dang my math is good <laughs> 534 uh, dark lecture that's fine because we used a very few number of troops and as you can see we've instantly got our we in, we've instantly got a full army because our barracks train while we're raiding while we're searching so uh a really big tip would be a really important tip would be uh, not to stop searching not to stop searching don't go back to your home base because if you do then all the troops that the barracks had uh, trained would be resetted even if your uh, barracks are full 
even if your uh, army camps are full, your barracks are still going to be training troops. That's a very important co uh, farming concept. So always make sure to attack a base before you go back. Uh, before you go back to your home base unless if your army is not full then you can go back to get a full army and then start a search but if your army is full then you should never ever return home until you have done a raid okay so uh yeah so far around 500 so we started around 109,000 dark elixir so hopefully by the end of this one hour session i'm expecting to make uh, 100 and at least 119,000 dark elixir and that would give us at least 10,000 dark elixir in that one hour session and so far five minutes have passed so looking good so as you can see I'm, I'm skipping a lot of bases that have centralized dark elixir storage because they're not worth it uh, this composition is not very strong barbarians archers minions they're not very good at coring bases so uh yeah, you're not gonna, it's not gonna be safe getting the dark elixir storage if it's centralized inside a base. So you have to go for the semi exposed dark elixir storage uh, to raid the storage or go for outside drills or easy to get dark elixir storage on the outside. So here, 405, uh, that level 6 drill is semi full, so I'm gonna attack it. Level 6 drills are worth attacking if they're around half full. So here, as you can see, I've made around 300 Dark Elixir. And we're just going to get the Town Hall just to maintain some cups. Because otherwise, we're going to be rapidly losing cups. And uh, it's not going to be a problem ga gaining cups or dropping cups here in uh, Silver. And that's one of the main reasons I'm farming in Silver is because there's no concern for trophies. I can easily just drop trophies just by going for outside drills and then gain that trophy back quite easily. So it's uh, ideal to use this method for farming in Silver League. So yeah, I would not recommend using this method of uh, farming in Crystal because you're not going to find Town Halls on the outside or as you can see, uh, 8 trophies right there. I'm at 1204. If you're Anywhere from 900 to 1200 trophies is a good range for this method. And uh, I would not recommend using this method at higher leagues. Even though you w it will work, you're just not going to find, you're just not going to be able to make Dark Elixir as quickly. So here, uh, Dark Elixir drill. So for, yeah, still there are town halls still on, uh, still on the outside in Silver League. So it just makes it very easy to farm Dark Elixir here especially since there's no concern especially since there's no uh, concern for losing trophies as uh, you don't really need trophies to farm here so here we're just gonna use barbarians archers get that drill really quick and then we're gonna do the same thing here spread our barbarians spread our archers I'm using three fingers on one hand so I can rapidly deploy them uh, rapidly deploying them is is isn't is important so I uh, really recommend doing that as uh, that way you can spread your troops better, you can deploy them quicker, you can overwhelm defenses better, and you can also distract those mortars better as you as you uh, rapidly spread all your troops around. So here we got almost all the Dark Elixir. We got over a thousand. Nice. <clears throat> Alright, um, let's see. Also, I apologize if this commentary isn't like really good because it's it's uh, it's early in the morning and I haven't really slept much. So, yeah, just decided to do this one hour live session since I know you guys have been really begging me uh, to do one of these. So army camps currently at 126, but we're still going to attack. We're going to look for outside drills uh, to attack and we're going to and this is a very this is another important concept. Uh, which is to attack bases, attack outside collectors. As you can see, that level 4 drill is pretty much full. So we're going to attack that, and we're going to get a lot of Dark Elixir very easily, quickly. So even though we don't have a full army, we can just use a few troops to snipe drills while waiting for our armies to... Uh, while waiting for our barracks to cook those troops. So here we're just going to use a few minions and couple it with uh, archers. Minion, archers, very good com combination. 
uh, and uh, we're not going to go for the town hall. We don't need it. We don't need trophies. We're just going to head out with 630 Dark Elixir easily there. So let's see. We've made... So far we've made... Uh, six minutes ago, so 500, 400, 900, 1900, 2500, 2500 dark elixir, nice. So yeah, 1900, so, so far, uh, 100, 109,000, so, so far we've made around 2500 dark elixir already in around six minutes. Well, not six minutes, uh, it's been about nine minutes, I believe. Yeah, we have, we still have 52 minutes left on our boost. Okay, great. So currently we have 13 minions, so we're going to cook two, uh, three more uh, because I like to use 16 minions. That's how much you need uh, because you don't want to train too many minions. Otherwise, you're not going to profit too much from Dark Elixir. And as you can see, even though I'm using minions, I'm not using them every raid. As you can see from my attack log, I haven't really used any minions, only three minions there. And the reason I have minions is for, uh, is for uh, last resort purposes and and for versatility because minions come in handy in a lot of situations. So uh, it's very important to carry them and use them in tough situations as, as a last resort. If, you, uh, if you're unable to get the Dark Elixir, you can quickly send in minions to fly over the walls and grab that uh, Dark Elixir pretty easily as the Barbarians and Archers have created that space. So that's one of the reasons I like to use minions. Another big reason I like to use minions is because of efficiency. They train very quickly and by utilizing all six barracks you're able to get an army quicker. And by getting an army quicker you're, you're able to do more raids and by being able to do more raids you're able to make a uh, faster dark elixir. So here we're using half an army, we're using only 126 troops, so we're just going to be searching for snipes while we wait for the barracks uh, to train our troops. So even though we're searching right now, our barracks are training troops. So for example, if I go back home right now, I'm going to see that my army camp has more than 126 troops ready. So as you can see, 147 troops ready. And I'm just going to refill these two barracks that I'm boosting. So let's see... Okay, there we go, and we, we can ignore the other two because uh, they cook very slowly, so it's not even worth constantly uh, filling them up. So let's see. So we've started searching at around 150 troops. So if I can't find anything for like two minutes, then I'm gonna go back, uh, gonna go back home, and I'll see that I pretty much have a full army ready again. Also, uh, keep in mind that I'm not really using spells, and this is another very important uh, key for this strategy. You're not really using too much elixir. These are very uh, cheap arm <laughs> cheap troops. Uh, here, we're gonna open up that wall. Hopefully, Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go for one. I just need one wall breaker. Come on, distract those uh, defenses. One wall breaker, because uh, we have a lot of barbarians. We don't have enough archers. And uh, I want to use archers on this side to get that dark elixir drill because uh, because obviously these two drills are very full. They are level six. We're not gonna go for actually. Um, let's put one, two, three archer. That's all we need. Three archers uh, to get that town hall. And here we're gonna work on uh, those side structures and then more barbarians at the mid section. <laughs> mid mid section. Can't even speak right now. Okay, um, now we're going to send in the clan castle troops and they're going to go after the dark elixir drill and that should do it. No, that mortar took out our archers. So we're going to have to use some minions here, combine them with the uh, barbarians. Only a few minions, doesn't matter. Uh, so we got all the dark elixir th there and it's going to take a while for those uh, archers to take out that town hall. So what we're going to do is we're just going to end it right there. We're just going to let the uh, game simulate the rest because uh, if you turn off, if you reset your game, the game is just going to simulate the rest of uh, whatever your troops are doing. So here, my archers are going to be able to take out the town hall, and I don't have to wait. I don't have to wait and waste time uh, watching my archers constantly attack that town hall. So as you can see from the replay here, uh, I've won that uh, raid, and I made around 2,700 dark elixir. Awesome. So, so far I'm making a lot of Dark Elixir and that Clash of Clans loot forecaster said that uh, 
loot was gonna loot was gonna be bad, but that it's completely the opposite right now from what I'm seeing. It's uh, loot is very good right now. So yeah, you don't really have to trust the loot, uh, the Clash of Clans forecaster. I I actually never uh, use it, and the reason I never use it is because it just disc it just discourages me of uh, farming uh, at at times like in the morning, which is right now. Uh, usually, I usually don't farm in the morning, but today I'm making that an exception just to do this uh, one hour raid. Uh, but but yeah, usually mornings the loot isn't very good, and the Clash of Clans forecast also states that. But I'm still making a lot of dark elixir, so yeah, that's one of the reasons I don't follow the Clash of Clans uh, forecaster, and I just play whenever I can play, whenever I have the time to play. I'm not gonna limit myself. Uh, to not playing because uh, as long as you're making a profit, you're always gonna be progressing in the game. You're all, you're always gonna be making dark elixir, and with this method, I can guarantee you, you will always make uh, lots of dark elixir in profit. So so far, we've made five thousand dark elixir in fifteen minutes. That's incredible. And remember, we're doing this without heroes. No archery queen, no barbarian king. And uh, we started searching with around 126 troops again, so half an army. So if we can't find anything in like a minute, then I'm going to come back. And uh, when I come back, I'm going to have more troops ready. So, for example, okay, here we have level 2 drills. Since they're right on the outside and it's uh, around 471 dark elixir, I'm just going to go for it. Uh, the town hall's right there, so I'm not gonna lose any trophies either. So I'm just gonna use like four barbarians right there, and uh, here we can avoid the defenses, so we're just gonna use our troops, uh, just barbarians and archers, to quickly grab that level two drill that's pretty much full. I usually avoid level two drills, but this is like freebie uh, and it's full, so uh, no reason not to go for this one. And uh, we'll just wait it out. It's not really going to take long because uh, even so, when we come back home, when we come back to our home bo home base, we're going to find that we actually have more than 120 troops ready, even though we started searching with around 120 troops. So here, 382 Dark Elixir, very easy, uh, nice. Okay, 114, 115, so I was pretty close. My guess was pretty close. Uh, um, so we're going to refill these troops. And these these are pretty much full. How many minis do we have? We have 12, so 1, 2, 1, 2, and that will give us 16. 16, my, 16 is my uh, lucky magic number, so I always train 16 minions. David has requested, doesn't really meet the requ uh, requirements for this clan, which is Altar of Nobles. You need a minimum of 500 gold grab if you want to join this clan. So army camp currently is at 130, but we're still going to search. 577 really not worth it mm -mm. so when I'm searching with the half an army I'm I'm not really looking to attack storages I'm just looking to attack drills here this level 3 drill is like half full and that's a level 1 drill so this is really not worth it because in total that's around like 200 dark elixir with with which is in my opinion not worth it you're gonna be util you're gonna be using a lot of troops uh, so yeah, don't want to waste those troops. I can find better, so I'm not gonna attack that. Here, level six drill, uh, around around 20% full on. Yeah, also not worth it. So that's around like 300 dark elixir, uh, both of them together. So I'm not gonna attack that either. So I'm gonna continue searching for for something better. Um, I mean, I would have attacked those drills. If I did not have to use that many troops, if I did not have to use like more than uh, 10 barbarians and 10 archers each to get uh, the dark elixir drills, then I would go for it. But, but for example, here it's gonna require me to use more than 10 barbarians and 10 archers to get those drills. It's gonna require me to use a lot of them, so it's just not worth it. So here I'm gonna go back home again, and as you can see, my camp now has 167 troops. Nice. And we're going to refill these barracks again. And uh, it's probably only going to take me under two minutes to get a full army. So if I can't find anything in under two minutes, I'm going to come back home. And uh, 
then that way I'm going to have a full army ready. And with the full army, I'm able to do more. I'm able to storage raid and I'm all I'm able to uh, attack drills. Now it's possible in this in this video you guys are probably not going to watch me do a storage raid if I constantly find these uh, drills on the outside. Also the storages that I attack, the bases that I attack for storages are bases that are weak. Obviously I would never attack a base like this, this Town Hall 9 max defense base with level 10 walls. I would never attack that type of base with BAM. Especially since the Dark Elixir Drill was centralized. If it was not centralized, if it was like in the second layer, then it's very possible. Like here, this base is uh, is very tough actually because of that Barbarian King in the middle and the level 7 Mortar. So I would probably avoid this regardless. But it's possible to steal that Dark Elixir. All you have to do is just break inside the first layer, use a Raid Spell, Wall Breakers, and you can open up both of those layers. And then uh, with the heal spell, you can avoid the wizard towers as uh, as your barbarians and archers remove that mortar with the raid spell very quickly. So you can easily get that dark elixir drill. But there's still risk involved, and I don't like taking risks, so I I, I would probably just uh, avoid it. Here, uh, level three drill, and it looks it looks pretty full, so I'm gonna go for it. Uh, level three drills are drills that I would target if they're 100% full. So here it looks like it's kind of 100% full. 100% full level three drill. Uh, you can st steal 405 Dark Elixir from. So if this is 100% full, then it's going to have 405 Dark Elixir. And uh, here, let's see, can we avoid that Archer Tower? Yes, we can. So great. So 1315 minus, let's see, how many Dark Elixir was in here? Probably around uh, like, like 80 probably. Yeah, 90. So 90 plus 415. No. That drill was not 100% full. So, uh, so yeah, 313, not bad. We only used 40, uh, 45 troops to get 319 Dark Elixir. So that's very good. Always conserve troops. Don't use too many. Don't excessively use your Barbarians and Archers. Try to conserve as many of them as possible if you're sniping drills on the outside. The less uh, Barbarians and Archers you use, the less Elixir you waste, and... The quicker you get a full army, the quicker you have a larger army to raid with. And this way you're going to make tons of tons of Dark Elixir very quickly. Okay, so uh, let's see. Hmm. So, so far we have around 6,000 Dark Elixir farmed in around 22 minutes. So that's very good. Um, here we have that drill and look uh, we have our heroes back but I'm not going to use the heroes I'm still going to show you guys how I farm without them so uh, here these defenses are pretty weak mm, contemplating whether to attack it's probably trapped probably not since there are empty spaces around the drill so the Teslas are probably there uh, so let's go for it then yeah we're safe so we're going to quickly remove that town hall since it's in the way and we're going to go for that level 3 drill and can we avoid that cannon? Come on. No, but we can avoid it with the minion, so that's great. All right, here, back to here. Let's uh, send out archers. So once they remove that, now they're going to target the drill. Perfect, and that should do it. Looks like our minion got targeted. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's an air defense right outside there. Didn't see that. And an archer tower. Okay, it's not really worth it. There's only like 50 dark elixir in there. Not really worth it. So we're just going to end it there. 371 dark elixir with around 50 troops. So that's great. Okay, so currently we only have 14 minions. So one, one. That will give us 16. And we're just going to refill this barrack. And this one as well. Okay, 178 troops. Let's start the search. Actually, uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I don't want to accidentally use my heroes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sacrifice them. Let's uh, let's attack Sherbet Towers. And let's send out our king. Where, the, where are the point defenses? Here they are. So we're just going to let the defenses kill our king and queen. Because uh, I'm not going to be using them. For this session so just to be safe just gonna sacrifice them <laughs> okay 
you know, it's taking it it's taking a while to kill that king Barbarian King has a lot of hit points. He's very good in wars, but not really very good at farming because uh, he gets harmed too often. So you don't really get to use him every raid as uh, as you as you would use the Archer Queen because the Archer Queen is very good at uh, shielding herself with her range. She stays five tiles away, so uh, she often doesn't get attacked, especially if you spread Barbarians and Archers around. So uh, she makes farming even easier. Okay, here we have 3,880 Dark Elixir. Dang. Um, now, this is going to be a problem because it's going to be very difficult getting it. Getting 3,800. I might get the drills, but I'm not going to be able to get that Dark Elixir storage with this composition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first create some space. Remove that drill over here and remove that. I mean, not drill, the Dark Barracks here and there. And once I remove those Dark Barracks, Spread some barbarians around. Open up the first layer. Those uh, wall breakers are going to go for that since it's occupying a gold mine. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to use a bunch of wall breakers together and a raid spell, and then send in barbarians and archers with multiple fingers, and keep sending them in. He has clan castle troops. That's fine. Now it's still going to be very tough. It's going to be very risky because level seven mortars. Take out your uh, barbarians and archers in one shot. Okay, here, um, yeah, this is not looking good. This is a very tough base. Clan castle loaded, unlurable. Clan castle, two heroes, and the only reason I went for it is because of the dark elixir drills. Mm, come on, let's see, what can we do? Mm -hmm. Send in those minions, and you know what? Let's just let's just go for it. Use a raid spell. And try to get a drill or two with that rage spell because minions are very strong. So here, as you can see with that rage spell, I was able to get some dark elixir. So yeah, as long as I got like 700. I know I used two rage spell, but 700 dark elixir. Otherwise, I would have gotten zero dark elixir. So it was worth using that that uh, other rage spell, especially since I don't really use spells. So as you can see, I still have three spells uh, here, three spells ready since uh, I don't really use spells anyway with this composition. So it was really worth using it just to get that 700 Dark Elixir. So at least uh, we made some Dark Elixir. So yeah, um, the only reason, again, the only reason I attacked that base was because, let's train six wall breakers. We only need six wall breakers for this composition. So three each on the boosted barracks. And okay. And yeah, the only reason I attacked that base was because uh, it was just a very attractive looking base with 3,880. I mean, uh, it's very hard to skip those. So yeah, that's why I went for it. I took the risk. Otherwise, I would never attack a base like that. So uh, let's just use that as an example. So this base, yeah. Other, otherwise, I would never attack his centralized Dark Elixir Drill. Two active heroes. He had both the Archer Queen and the Barbarian King. And he also had an unlurable clan castle. So yeah, huge threat. Definitely a no. Especially the level 7 mortars. They're going to knock out your archers in one shot. And they're going to do heavy damage to your barbarian. So yeah, definitely you don't want to attack that kind of base. I just went for it. I just took the risk. Just because of the dark elixir that was being offered. Uh, but yeah, I still made some dark elixir. And I'm currently at 7,000 dark elixir in, uh, in 28 minutes. So looking very good. I'm probably I'm definitely gonna uh, reach my 10,000 dark elixir target. I still have 40 minutes left. Nice. Um, let's see any. Okay, here you go. Have some barbarians and archers. Have some barbarians and archers. And our camp is at 91. So we're just gonna wait until we have like at least 100 troops, I guess. Um, let's see, barbarian. Or archers, okay, 101, and let's search. Okay, 2,000 dark elixir, nice. Now that drill is gonna be hard to get. Uh, we don't have any wall breakers, so it's definitely gonna be hard to get because we only have 101 troops. So what we're gonna do instead is, uh, I'm scared of that uh, wizard tower. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send in a barbarian, try to take out that queen quickly bunch of barbarians and archers 
And what I'm going to do here is distract that wizard tower, use some minion, use some uh, archers, use that minion archer combo to quickly get the Dark Elixir drill. As you can see, it's a, it's a very powerful combination and uh, was able to quickly get grab that Dark Elixir drill. Now, how am I going to grab that one? I'm probably not, yeah, not going to be able to grab it. No wall breaker. And there's a king right there. He's just going to pull all my troops towards him. Uh, and there's two high level splash defenses there. So not going to be able to get it. So we're going to have to end it there. But we got a lot of Dark Elixir. 569. Awesome. Okay, let's see here. Request for troops. And... Okay, now the wall breakers are training. Okay, refill with barbarians, refill with uh, archers. And uh, again, I'm training two barracks full of barbarians and two barracks full of archers. So I'm going to have more barbarians than archers. And that's a good thing because this allows me to uh, attack storages better. If you have too many archers, then you're not going to be able to break inside bases for storages or drills as you would with more barbarians. And also barbarians train faster, so uh, they train a little faster since it only takes 20 seconds to train barbarians while it takes 25 seconds to train archers. In this composition, the, bar um, the wall breakers are obviously, they take the longest, but the troop that takes the second longest to train are archers, not bar not minions. Uh, a lot of people mistake mistake it for minions. Minions are actually faster than archers in the sense that uh, it only takes 45 seconds for them to uh, train and they occupy two housing space. So 45 divided by two is 22 and a half, which is faster than the archer. So you're gonna get a full army faster when using minions than archers. And not only that, uh, this level five minions DPS is, <laughs> donations getting in the way, uh, is 50 and an archer, one level six, level six archer, uh, DPS is 22. So even with two archers combined, a minion is more powerful. So minion is faster and more powerful and can fly over the wall. So yeah, minions are very good, very underrated. And that's one of the reasons I'm, that's another reason I'm utilizing them in this composition. So again, 130 troops ready, so let's start. Um, okay, level two drill right here. We're gonna go for that. And there is a level three drill that's pretty full. So we're gonna go for that as well. So as you can see, lots of drills with loaded dark elixir on the outside. And this method is very good in this sense because you can use it to make tons of dark elixir very quickly just by sniping these drills on the outside. And you're gonna find tons, tons of these uh, drills. Oh no, I accidentally deployed my clan castle troops. I meant to deploy like two minions to get that town hall uh, because uh, it was out of range of that archer tower. Um, Let's see, there's that elixir storage though. Looks pretty juicy. Should we go for it? Let's see. Let's uh, let's allow our troops to remove the archer tower and the mortar. And <laughs> that archer tower is still alive. So two barbarians there and we're just going to use like three archers. And we're just going to quickly grab some elixir here. Because uh, uh, either way, when we return home, we're going to have troops ready our barracks are still cooking troops so it doesn't even matter since uh if we're wasting a couple of seconds sniping this elixir storage <laughs> okay so let's see we're gonna end it here hundred uh, thousand elixir nice so 450 dark elixir and we only used around 56 troops excluding the clan castle troops. We lost the clan castle troops. But as you can see from my attack log, as you can see, I I rarely use the clan castle troops. And uh, yeah, that's another great, uh, that's another great feature of this, uh, this attack method. You don't really need, uh, you don't really need to use your clan castle troops constantly. You don't need to donate. I mean, you don't need to request constantly. Uh, so yeah, that's great. And it's a very cheap way of farming. Just gotta keep searching, 130 troops, just gotta keep searching for those drills on the outside and you're just gonna make dark elixir very quickly. So yeah, this is my favorite method of farming dark elixir very fast uh, when you don't have heroes to farm with. Now, if I had my archer queen to farm with, 
This method would even be better with Archer Queen because the Archer Queen, uh, what you can do is you can just use her to snipe instead. And this way, you're not going to waste any Barbarians and Archers. And when you don't waste Barbarians and Archers on sniping uh, those drills, then you're going to get a uh, full army quicker and when you have the archer queen you can use the archer queen and your barbarians archers and minions to then attack a storage and this way you don't have to search uh search longer you can just attack a base that has a lot of dark elixir inside a storage you can attack a centralized dark elixir storage when you have the archer queen so that just increases uh the amount of dark elixir you can make per hour so when I have the Archer Queen and I'm using this method, I, I can actually make over 15,000 Dark Elixir very easily with the same method that I'm using right now. And uh, I might do another video of that in the future to show you guys how I utilize the Archer Queen with this same, same strategy to make even more Dark Elixir. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to comment letting me know. Okay, um, here at level 3 drill, that's looks pretty full so we're just gonna use one two three barbarians here it only requires two barbarians but I'm a bit lazy <laughs> uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread those barbarians around here there's a lot of defenses we're also gonna send out uh, archers otherwise uh, our barbarians and archers are just gonna go around the base so we need to create a lot of space that's why I'm spreading them around and also deploying a lot of them so here uh, barbarians and then archers behind and that's all we need Let's see, and we're just going to end it there. We're just going to let the game simulate the rest uh, for those barbarians to take out the town hall. So yeah, just reset game, and uh, the barbarians are going to finish off the town hall. This way we save some, uh, save some time. So as you can see from the replay again, uh, got 400 dark elixir and only used 54 troops. So that's very good. We have 14 minions. Okay, we're gonna have 16. And we're gonna refill these two barracks again. And uh, let's see, we still have 34 minutes left. It's a lot of time left. And we've already made around eight, eight and a half, uh, 8.5, 8.5K Dark Elixir. 8,500 uh, Dark Elixir. So 150, 152 troops, uh, but we're going to continue searching. <clears throat> Nothing here. Um, that storage is very easy to get, and I can easily get it, but I'm not going to go for it because it's only... Uh, Occupying 615 dark elixir. So it's not worth it. If it was uh, holding like a, a thousand dark elixir, I would I would have gone for it So yeah, um Try to set a higher target and just be just be patient when you're searching just don't you know Just don't be like oh 600 dark elixir. It's gonna be very easy to get I'll just go for it No, you can actually save your troops to make even more dark elixir if you're patient so here as you can see uh, that drill is going to be very easy to get and uh, we're just going to use a few troops we're going to use let's see we're just going to spread our barbarians around here and again archers around here and we don't even have to use your we don't even have to use our wall breakers now uh, for this composition for this method you don't want to recklessly throw your wall breakers around because wall breakers take the longest to train it takes two minutes to train one of them and they only occupy one housing space so they're one of the most inefficient troops in the game so you definitely don't want to waste them. Okay, here we're just going to wait it out actually since uh, it's not going to take long. And we also don't have a full army. So uh, either way, we're just going to come back home and we're going to have a lot more troops ready. But yeah, don't recklessly throw out, throw out your uh, wall breakers. Okay, here we have a level 2 drill. I guess it's uh, kind of worth attacking it because it looks pretty full. So we're just going to go for that one. Just gonna require a few barbarians and archers here. Send the archers over here. That mortar is gonna be distracted by the barbarians over there since they're closer. So here we're just gonna end it, and we got 467 troops with around uh, 70 troops. So yeah, still worth it. Cause remember, if you're using, let's say, 220 troops to get like 2,000 dark elixir. 
then so yeah then like 10 troops so, so 10 troops should equate to around uh, 100 dark elixir um actually no my math is wrong <laughs> uh yeah it's really early in the morning for me uh so let's see 200 dark elixir what was i saying 200 dark elixir oh, right 2000 dark elixir divided by 200 troops so yeah 10 uh, 10 dark elixir per troop basically so let's say you use like 40 troops then you should aim for at least 400 dark elixir if you're using 40 troops if you're using like 70 troops then you should aim for at least like 700 dark elixir in that sense actually uh, that that target is actually too high you shouldn't be targeting 2000 with BAM you should target at least 1000 as I've said in the beginning of the video so one troop is kind of worth like five dark elixir, one barbarian or archer. However, the minions worth more because obviously one minion costs, uh, one level five minion costs ten dark elixir. So yeah, you also don't want to recklessly throw them around like wall breakers. Okay, I've begun to ramble a lot. <laughs> For thirty-one minutes left, let's start the search. But yeah, hopefully you guys uh, learn a lot. Again, I apologize if my commentary isn't top rate as, uh, as my previous videos. But as long as you guys can learn a lot from this, then that, that should all, that should matter. Um, 800 Dark Collection. It's going to be very easy to guess, so we're going to spread our barbarians. Open up the first layer of all with wall breakers. We're gonna need to create more space here, otherwise our barbarians and archers are gonna run off towards that side. And then we're gonna spread our barbarians around again, send out archers behind them, uh, keep sending out healthy barbarians so uh, we can continue to distract the mortar. And now send out archers and that should basically do it. Okay, archers are gonna go for the storage with the barbarians. Yeah, that should do it. 200 uh, Dark Elixir left. Yeah, it's because of that uh, Town Hall. Almost forgot about that. <laughs> so we only got 595 uh, Dark Elixir. Man, I really hate this new system with the Town Hall holding Dark Elixir. Really screws over uh, this, this, this method and Dark Elixir farming in general. It just makes it harder to get Dark Elixir if you're attacking the storage now. Because you're also going to have to go for the town hall to get more dark elixir. So it just spreads out the dark elixir even more in the in, in the base. Yeah, really don't know what Supercell was thinking. This whole update, yeah, was a disaster. Really don't like the shield system. Really don't like the whole update in general. It's 130 troops ready. We're going to start searching. And obviously there's a lot of flaws to it. And I've... Uh, even made a whole list of all the flaws on the forums um, if you guys are interested in that as well as I've also stated some important tips ways of taking advantage of this new system and uh, protecting your loot better if you guys are interested in reading up on that I'll just leave that link on the descriptions below for this video okay um, these level 3 drills are half filled so not really worth attacking since uh, I'm gonna have to use a lot of troops they're inside the base inside those walls two thousand five hundred it's all in the storage in the town hall okay let's return home One hundred fifty five troops. Okay, and let's continue searching. Okay, nothing there. Nothing here. Six hundred and four. Mm. It's inside that drill, so there's like two hundred dark elixir inside that drill, probably. 
and rest is spread around in the storage and the town hall not really worth it it's just too little if i had my archer queen then i would have easily just quickly sniped the town hall or the drill and just head out but here i'm not able to do that because i have barbarians and archers and i don't really want to waste them because uh, i can go for better like here 1700 but it's inside this is protected by arch queen uh, that's just going to require too much work to get so we're not going to go for that one either not worth it 184 troops okay start the search 774 nope spread all around the drill storage and town hall so those are not worth it either Okay, that drill is full, but very hard to get. It's protected by two mortars, and it's pretty far away. I mean, uh, you could get it, but it's not worth getting it, because uh, even if it's 100% full, that's like holding like 600 Dark Elixir. You're going to be using a lot of Barbarians and Archers because of those mortars. So yeah, you got to think of it like that, as in uh, if it's worth using that many troops to get that much Dark Elixir, or if it's better to just keep searching uh, for more dark elixir that's easier to get without using that many barbarians and archers so right here uh, this drill is gonna be very tough to get but the other drill is gonna be very easy to get so here we're just gonna use a few barbarians and we're gonna go for this drill level 6 drill nice and it's very easy to get so we're, we're gonna spread our barbarians and archers here we're gonna need to spread them because otherwise they're gonna spread anyway uh, because they go for the closest target outside walls they don't target walls as uh, as they used to okay let's see barbarians more barbarians these defenses are very powerful so we're gonna have to quickly send out a bunch of barbarians and archers okay there we go we got it and we got the town hall and we're just gonna head out so we've got over a thousand dark elixir awesome and uh, as you can see I've I've <laughs> I'm neglecting the golden elixir collectors because this uh, episode this one hour session is uh, mainly about dark elixir farming so I'm not gonna be attacking gold or elixir collectors in this session because that's not what I'm focusing on I'm just focusing mainly on the dark elixir just to show you guys how quickly I can make dark elixir with this method so uh, maybe in another video I'm going to show you guys how I make a mixture of dark elixir, uh, gold, and uh, elixir with this same method. If you guys also want to see that then make sure to comment. So yeah, yeah, I read all, oops, accidentally deployed a troop, doesn't matter. We're still in silver, around uh, 1200 range, so... It's all good but yeah I read all your comments I read all your all you guys comments so if you guys want me to make a video about something just comment and uh, if I have the time I'll do it and uh, also uh, sometimes I don't have the time to you know reply sometimes I'm busy as you can as you can tell uh, I, I manage four clans uh, I work at the moment I'm in I'm on break but I also go to school um, so yeah I have a lot of work and I may not always be available to you know reply to all, all the hundreds of comments that I get weekly uh, so yeah and the comments are just rising I'm getting more comments every day with the with the increase in sub subscribers per day uh, that I've been recently getting mm -mm 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 -mm. 664 okay these are not worth it so we're, we're just gonna return home for let's see 183 troops now mm, we'll refill later let's continue searching okay 1200 dark elixir very nice we're just gonna go for that drill right here but the main reason we're gonna attack the space is because of that drill as you can see level 6 drill it's around 80 to 100% full and we're also gonna go for that town hall 
okay here. <clears throat> Let's see, we're going to have to spread those barbarians. Now we're going to ignore the elixir collector. And the reason we're going to ignore the elixir collector is because we are then going to send out our barbarians and archers onto it. Because right afterwards, what those barbarians and archers are going to do is go after the cannon. And then they're going to go after the dark elixir drill here. I'm going to use my heal spell because obviously I'm, I don't really use my spells much. And it's a very good... Uh, time to use it because of that wizard tower this way I can conserve my barbarians and archers and don't really have to use all of them uh, so yeah quickly got a lot of dark elixir from this raid as well 1100 around 1160 dark elixir so that's very nice okay let's refill this barrack refill that barrack and 133 troops 25 minutes left. Okay, let's continue surging. <laughs> now, my recorder says 51 minutes have passed, but the barracks state that I have 25 minutes left. That's pretty weird. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just going to trust my recorder and I'm going to end this session in around 9 minutes uh, because it states that it's going to be an hour soon. So yeah, I'm going to trust my recorder rather than the barracks. <laughs> but that's pretty strange. So, so far I have, let's see, 120,000 and 800 Dark Elixir. So, made around 1,200 Dark Elixir so far. So, that's pretty good. Uh, here we have these drills. We're going to go for it. Very easy to get. Send out Barbarians Archers onto the Town Hall. And then we're going to need to remove those side structures. So, that will allow our Barbarians and Archers up top to then focus on spreading around. Distract the Splash Defenses. And also go for the both of the level three drills here. Okay, looking very good. And we're just gonna end it there. So 426 dark elixir. <coughs> very nice. Okay, let's see. 103 troops. So we're gonna continue searching, even with the 105 troops. Okay, 1164. Here we're only going to be able to get one of these drills uh, with, the, with the amount of troops we have. So let's see, we're just going to send out barbarians onto that gold mine and the army camp and then spread them around and then send in more barbarians, barbarians and archers and then open up the first layer because we, we're going to need to. And that should basically do with that much, that many barbarians and archers. Should be able to very easily uh, get that level 4 drill. And we're just going to end it here. So that was very worth it. 496 Dark Elixir. Nice. Okay, so we've run out of Wall Breakers. So we're just going to use two because uh, we're running short on time. So again, two, two. So it's going to give us a total of four. And let's see here. Okay, everything else is good. Camps at 59. So we're just going to wait a bit longer here. Just, just to get enough uh, troops. We'll start searching in like, let's see. Um, we're going to start searching once we have like 80 troops ready. I mean, we could start searching right now, but... Uh, just to be safe because sometimes it requires at least like 80 troops from my experience to break inside a first layer of wall to get a drill So I'm just gonna wait a few seconds just to get those 80 troops Okay, and let's start the search Okay, nothing here. There was a level one drill that's 100% full, but 
Really not worth attacking uh, level 1 drills. Nothing here. Yeah, I just don't even, I just don't bother attacking level 1 drills. Because uh, even if, let's say, there was a level 1 drill right outside the base, and there was also a town hall there right outside, and if you don't have the Archer Queen, then it's just going to take a very long time to take down the town hall uh, with your troops, and you're also going to have to remove the Dark Elixir drill. So all that for like 90 Dark Elixir, I really don't find that worth it. So I just don't bother attacking level 1 drills, even if they're 100% full. Okay, so 700 Dark Elixir, it's right on top here, so we're going to go for it. And uh, we do have just about enough troops to do so. And we're going to also use our Clan Castle troops. Uh, because there is a level 7 mortar right there, and there's two high-level wizard towers. But yeah, that should do it. All right, and we're just gonna head out here, and that's gonna be 692 dark elixir. Nice. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, sixty-two troops ready. Okay, have some archers. And uh, looking at our timer, our recorder says we have four minutes left. But here, as you can see, it says there's 21 minutes left <laughs> on the boost. That's pretty strange. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna trust my recorder because it, it I do want it to stay uh, at at one hour. I don't want it to be longer than an hour. So I'm gonna end it at, end it in uh, three minutes from now. So army camps at 71. So again, we're just gonna wait for 80 troops. So in just a few more seconds. So we'll just refill both of these barracks in the meantime. And we'll start the search. So yeah, as you guys saw in the last raid, I had like around 80 troops. And I was able to get uh, get both of those dr <coughs> drills. So here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go for this level 4 drill. And spread out those archers. Now this is going to be a bit tougher because of that mortar that's constantly attacking. There's two, three defenses. Cannon, archer tower, and uh, the mortar. But we should still be able to get it pretty easily with those archers. While the barbarian right there is distracting. Okay, just in time. Nice. Didn't have to use my minions. So we're just going to end it there. And we're going to get 324 Dark Elixir. It's decent. So 58 troops. And uh, you know what? We're just going to search with 60 troops. Because even, even if we can't find anything, we're just going to come back in a few more seconds. And we're going to have more troops ready anyway. Okay, so we're gonna go back and seventy one troops. So let's start searching with seventy one troops. Nothing there. 1,000. It's basically in the storage in the town hall. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay. Um, that level 6 drill is kind of half full. We have 71 troops. So if we can get it, it's going to be worth it. Uh, there's a high level Tesla. Teslas are very powerful. And uh, do give problems to Barch if they're combined with another defense. Because they can then really take out your Barbarians and Archers and one other. So we're just going to use our minions since it's going to be our last raid anyway. Uh, it looks like the angle of the minions disallowed them 
from getting the dark elixir that level seven <laughs> tesla or was it level six very powerful to uh but we still managed to get some dark elixir so we're just going to end it there that's going to be the last raid 291 doesn't matter but yeah one hour has passed according to this recorder so uh in total i made 1400 around 1400 dark elixir in that one hour session using bam barbarians archers minions no heroes no archer queen no no barbarian king and with just two barracks boosted so hopefully you guys learned a lot i apologize if this wasn't like a top rate live session but i want to try doing more of these if you guys want me to if you do be sure to comment below and also like the video if you liked it and also uh subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys again soon later